For sure, man. Now moving on to Carlos Ocampo. Whole different challenge, a whole different animal here, man. Um, how's pre preparation been for Arrow? Hey, it's been good, man. You know, it's been a lot of work, a lot of good sparring. Adrian Taylor, Zemir Charlo, we had a little Willie Brooks, a little young guy getting there. I mean, it's a great sparring, man. And, uh, that's all with the preparation. I mean, Arrow's been great. He, he started the first day, did him 15 rounds, and he went up as much as 18 rounds of sparring. So it's real good, man. We talked about it before, man, being able to sleep in your own bed and right. go home every night. That's got to be a good feeling for you, especially being that you're just coming off the road. But for Errol as well, because there's no traveling involved. He goes, he, he can dial in quick. Well, you know, that is the case, but at the same time, it's not because we're staying in Frisco. So that's about like 20-something miles from here. So we'll stay out there. But, but we have that home feeling, and everybody can feel the love in the city. So that's the most important part about it. What type of performance are you looking for for Errol? I know you're always seeking the perfect performance, as you always say. What type of performance do you perfect expect? Perfection. That's what I'm looking for. I mean, Carlos Ocampo is going to buck it back. He's going to fight the fight and fight because he's that guy. But I'm looking for perfection always. I never lower my standards. You know, and uh, I never lower my standards. I want them to be the best because that's what they expect from me is the desire that they be the best. Won the title on the road, defending it at home, man. That's a contrast and feeling and everything, but... I'm sure you, you're you expecting Carlos Ocampos to have the same mentality you guys had when you was in the UK. Without a doubt, man. He's going to be a dog. He's coming in here to take the title. Mm -hmm. He's not showing up to to um, just uh, get a check. He's coming in to become the champ. He wants to upset the wild card. He wants to be the guy. He wants to test the guy with everybody. Like he's one of the best world in the world. And I think that we have to be focused on the way that and go out there and you know do our best to win. Uh, Errol said it doesn't bother him, but as a trainer, when you hear so much Crawford and Garcia Porter talk, is it hard to stay dialed in, or is it just what you guys do? It doesn't bother me. I mean, I don't think about it. I mean, I know who we are. I know, I know who they are. I know how good they are. I know how good my guy is. So it doesn't bother me. It doesn't deter me. It doesn't, I don't feel anything about it. I just stay with focus in hand, and the fight's right in front of me. Good luck Saturday night, my man. Appreciate it. Thank you.